Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben. I'm back today opening a smattering of some Fleer packs here. We've got 1991 Fleer Ultra, 1992 Fleer, and 1993 Fleer. Just a few packs of each. Let's see what we can find. These are my last packs of all of these different sets. So I've got nothing left in my cache uh, beyond these. So we'll see if we can get something good. There's Kirby Bucket. That's a good one. I do like the design of these on the back, especially. This is Ramon Martinez, Leaf uh, Hunter Fleer Ultra Gold team. Let's jump into 1993 Fleer. This is a good set with great design. Um, some UV gloss, which I don't love, but it's not a full UV gloss on both sides, so I think that actually makes a big difference here. Uh, but a minimalist design really focuses on the on the uh, photography which is great and then the back i think is a really nice design too there's a pat mahomes rookie pedro astacio why do i have another that guy Look him up. All right, so not too much to speak of from that one. Let's jump back to the Clear Ultra. I've only got one pack of that 1982 Clear, so we'll wait a few a little, little bit before that before we open that one up. It's a very similar looking you know, picture there with those guys. Different teams, same similar uniforms though. Similar positions. There's Eric Karos, rookie prospect. Alright, so not a whole lot there either. Jump back to 1993 Fleer. Maybe we can get this back on track. I really hate these yellow backs. There we go. There's Robin Young to start us right off. That's a good one. Kenny Lofton. Look at that. Ryan Sandberg. Rhino. That'll go to my personal collection. Nice to add that one in. Followed by Yvonne Rodriguez. So there's a good one for you. So good pack there. All right, let's get into our final stages here. My last pack in 1991 for the for a while, probably. Kind of finishing up the packs that I'm opening now. I'm heading into stage two of my collection cycle where, oh look, there's a Nolan Ryan. Fantastic, another one I can add to my personal collection. There, so that's a good card. Then Barry Bonds, great performances. Matt Williams, Roberto Alomar. So that's a good pack. Um, the way I typically do things, I buy a bunch of wax packs, open them up, and then I sort them out, and then find homes for them. So. Uh, I'm finishing up my opening phase. I've been spending a number of months opening literally hundreds and hundreds of packs. I don't know. I don't, I don't dare say how many, but it's definitely, you know, 20,000 cards probably. And then uh, going through them like this, and then I'll sort them up. There's Carlson Fisk. So the next step will be taking all these cards I'm, pull, I'm pulling out and sorting them by player to put together some nice little collections. There's Jim Tomey. Jim Tomey rookie card. Erickson, coming off his 20-win season. Vince Coleman. He got angry and moved on to the Mets. And our last pack of the day.
I am, I am not going to be missing these cell packs at all. And, <coughs> excuse me, that pack was kind of worthless. So, handful of stars, Nolan Ryan, Ryan Sandberg. And let's find out what happened to old Pedro Astacio. From the Dominican. There he is. see here played from 92 to 2006 <coughs> excuse me clocked 129 wins 124 losses so not bad 467 era and 1600 strikeouts played for a lot of teams in his major league debut he tossed a shutout and struck out 10 people and had four shutouts and just 11 starts for 90, in 92 for the Dodgers. So that was a great kickoff. Um, got the World Series with the Red Sox in 2004. That's it. That's all they gave him. Not a lot of... So not sure how it went wrong for him, but he uh, clearly got off to a good start. And then... I guess just couldn't uh, couldn't keep up after that, but good for him. So Pedro, hats off to you, my friend. The rest of you, we'll see you next time.